everyone how are you doing today so as I promised I am going to share and make a video of my application for naturalization so let's start with the very first thing that I did the first thing I did is I went to USCIS website so there oh it's not clear Then after that, I went to citizenship. I click this one, citizenship. And then I read everything that says in citizenship part. So first is apply for citizenship, citizenship through naturalization, citizenship for spouses of U.S. citizens, and so on and so forth. So I read everything and then I printed the document checklist, the M477 form. I read everything on that checklist. I checked everything that applies to me. And then there are steps there, the steps to naturalization, understanding the process of becoming a, a U.S. citizen. So I read everything and there are steps there, general steps in the naturalization process. Step one is to determine if you are already a U.S. citizen. So maybe you are born here, then you're already a U.S. citizen. Step two is determine if you are eligible to become a U.S. citizen. Review the naturalization eligibility worksheet to help you decide if you are eligible to apply for naturalization. So I printed the worksheet, um, this one, naturalization eligibility worksheet. It says here, am I at least 18 years old? So there are box there to check. There are boxes of true and not true. So am I at least 18 years old? So I checked true. Am I a permanent resident of the United States and I ha and have I been used or and have I been issued a permanent resident card or we call it green card? So I checked true. Number three, I have been a permanent resident for so there are three choices here, five years or more, three to five years or less than three years. So I belong to the second one, three to five years. Next question is during the last five years, I have not been out of the United States for 30, 30 months or more. So that's true because I went home. I came here 2014 and then I went home for a month in 2015 and then a month in 2016 and... A month in 2018 so I went home three times within five years since I am under three to five years uh, bracket here I have to go to attachment a naturalization eligibility worksheet I have been a permanent resident for three to five years I am married to and living with a US citizen so it's true I have been married to that US citizen for at least the past three years true my spouse has been a US citizen for at least the past three years true during the past three years I have not been out of the country for 18 months or more and it's true if you answer true to all the four questions go to question five on page one so back to page one if you answer not true to those questions then you are not eligible to apply for naturalization then uh, question five during the last five years our um i have not taken a trip out of the country or out of the united states that lasted one year or more so true. I have resided in the district 
or state in which I am applying for citizenship for the last three months. True. So if you moved to um, another state or different state, you must wait until you have lived in the state or district for three months to apply. So do not apply right away if you just moved. I can read, write, and speak basic English. So it's true. I'm, my English is poor, but I can speak basic English. I can write and I can read. So number eight. I know the fundamentals of U.S. history and the form and principles of the U.S. government. So true. Question nine. Naturalization applicants may file their applications 90 days before they have satisfied the continuous residence requirement. So make sure to remember that 90 days or three months. I am a person of good moral character and that's true. One of the uh, following is true. I am female. True. So I checked it. The other ones are I I am a male registered with the selective service. The the B C D and E is all male. So I checked one because I am a female. I have never deserted from the U.S. Armed Forces, and that's true. I have never received an exemption or discharge from the U.S. Armed Forces on the grounds that I am an alien, and that's true. I am willing to perform either military or civilian service for the United States if required by law, and it's true. And there's a note, if your religious teachings and beliefs prohibit you from performing military service, you must be willing to perform non-military service. Number 14, I will support the Constitution of the United States. True, I understand and am willing to take an oath of um, allegiance to the United States. And that's true. Then, you don't have to answer B and C if you are under 3 to 5 years. Then after answering number 15, stop here. You are probably eligible to apply for naturalization. Please call the forms line or you can also go to uscis.gov and print the form N-400. And be sure to read a guide to naturalization. So make sure you read and understand everything. So after that, I filled out my form. This is the instruction. I printed the instruction for the instruction for application for naturalization. Then I read everything and then after that I printed the form and filled it fill it out. So it's up to you if you will do what I did or if you want to do what you want to do. But what I did is I printed the form and filled it out with a pen. And after I filled out everything, reviewed, I reviewed it. And after everything, I went online, uscis.gov, and I downloaded the form. And after I downloaded the form, I filled out the form through my computer. Um, if you fill it out there, make sure to download it. And if you write on the first box, hold on. On the part one of the form, you it's your information about your eligibility. The first box on the right is enter your nine-digit alien number. So make sure you know your A number and you write it down there. When you fill out the form online, it will automatically fill the boxes there because every page, each page has an alien number. So it will automatically fill it out there so after filling out everything I printed it and signed it with a pen since I am applying for naturalization on basis of marriage and marriage to a US citizen so I sent four items evidence that my spouse has been a U.S. citizen for at least three years. So I gave birth certificates and everything that um, um, proves that my husband is a U.S. citizen. 
Then the second one is our current marriage certificate. So my husband is not divorced or he, he was single and I, I, am, I was single. So and I only have to submit one marriage certificate, our current marriage certificate. Then the third document that you need to submit is proof of termination of all prior marriages of your spouse. So it's going to be a divorce, annulment, and death certificate. So I don't have that. I did not put that in. The fourth is documents referring to you and your spouse. So it can be your bank account that has both of your names there. Your wife or your husband's, both of your names are there. Tax returns, bank accounts leases if you have leases mortgages birth certificates of children if you have children or internal revenue services certified copies of income tax forms that you both filed for the past three years you don't have to submit everything if you don't have here um only those papers that is uh, that are applicable to you that you can provide an IRS tax returns transcript for the last three years. Those are the papers I submitted. I put the first page is the cover page, my address, the date, and then my alien number, application for naturalization, USCIS address, dear sir, sir, madam, and then enclosed everything here. I put everything that I put in the letter and then signed the date and then the form um, the next paper that i put is the form g1145 g1145 is e notification of application or petition acceptance what is this paper for this paper is to request an electronic notification or e notification when U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services accepts your immigration application. So I put my email and my phone number. As soon as they receive my paper, then I will receive a notification through email or through text message. Next to that is the N-400 and the other supporting documents green card passport birth certificate and everything so make sure you submit all the documents oh don't forget the payment naturalization fees could change so make sure you get the current naturalization fees in my time it's 640 dollars filing fee for a naturalization application and $85 for biometric services, the total of $725. You must send that $725 fee with your application. Pay the fee with a check or money order drawn on a U.S. bank payable to Department of Homeland Security. Do not use the initials DHS or US DHS. And you can't also send cash so you have to follow instruction otherwise there will be a problem on your application so may 8 i mailed my n400 and the supporting documents i paid seven dollars and something so i am old school i did not apply online i like it like I can hold my application my papers I like it like that I can check and recheck and recheck if everything is complete so I said it and the next update on the next video thank you for watching please don't forget to hit like comment nicely share and subscribe bye bye